guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Ashley Battle from Battle for Beauty. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this fall makeup look. And I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette throughout this entire video. So if you haven't already seen enough on the internet about this palette, you're going to be seeing it again one more time. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look right here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you end up liking it. So let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started here, and like I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be using that Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. So to start off, I'm going to take this light brown shade, MFEO, and I'm going to take a big fluffy blending brush that I got off of Amazon and just buff that into my crease as my transition shade. And right after that, I'm going to go into the color Hunts. This is a really pretty reddish brown shade. I'm going to take my Morphe R36 blending brush. And first things first, you need to tap off that excess with that color because it is very pigmented and will get everywhere if you don't. And so I'm going to slowly start building this into my crease a little bit lower than where I put that transition shade. So as you can see, I'm starting on the outer corner of my eye and slowly building that in so most of the pigment lays on the outside of my eye and I can just blend it all in very easily for the rest of my crease. So right after that is the fun part. I'm taking this color 24-7 and it's a very deep brown shade and you can't tell this on the camera but it has so many sparkles in it. It's absolutely gorgeous and I'm just going to take that on my finger and pack that onto my lid for the most color payoff. But right after that I'm going to take a flat shader brush and just wet my brush with that a little bit and get into the parts of my eye like that crease that you see there and just keep packing on that shade to make sure that my entire lid is covered. I can't really get my entire lid with just my finger so I have to go in with that brush secondary. And to finish off the eye, I'm going to take my Morphe M421 brush and that deep, rich black color and just pack that onto the outer corner of my lid. And right after that, I'm just going to go ahead and take that same blending brush that I did with my crease colors and just really blend it all in together just to make sure it's all blended. So let's pretend I didn't just say blended enough. And now we're going to take those same colors that we put into our crease, the transition and the crease shade, and we're going to just blend those on the lower lash line. I always like using the same transition and crease colors on my lower lash line because it just really brings the look together. And to finish off the lower lash line, I'm first going to take the color 24-7 with my Morphe E43 brush, and I'm going to focus that right on the center of my lower lash line. I'm again doing that just to kind of connect all the colors together, and I'm really going to focus that dark black color on the outer corner of my eye because I want them to appear a little bit wider. So if you're looking for any tips to make your eyes appear wider, just focus the darker colors towards the outer corner and don't bring them in too far. So moving right along into eyeliner, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, which is my favorite right now. And please forgive me, I am horrible at doing a wing liner on camera, so we're just going to fast forward to the good part right now. So I'm going to move right along and do the same wing to the other eye and be right back. And we're back. So I'm going to take my favorite mascara right now, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Last Paradise. And I'm just going to coat them a little bit just to prep them for the false lashes that I'm going to be putting on. And I'm also going to warn you guys, I am not putting on the false lashes on camera either because I'm just horrible, horrible with that. So there they are on now. And we're going to move right along to the highlighting portion of this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that in light color and another Morphe pointed blending brush and just put that on the inner corner of my eye. And now I'm just going to take my favorite glow kit which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills X Nicole Guerrero glow kit and I'm just going to glow up my face just to finish off this entire look because you know a look is not finished without some serious glow am I right yes I am right you gotta glow and last but not least we're gonna set it to forget it and here's my final look So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.